In phonology, a change shift is a phenomenon in which several sounds move stepwise along a phonetic scale. The sounds involved in a change shift can be ordered into a chain in such a way that, after the change is complete, each phoneme ends up sounding like what the phoneme before it in the chain sounded like before the change. The rules making up a change shift are said to be in counterfeiting order. For example, if in some language the three Three vowel phonemes a -E, undergo a change so they became respectively ei. Those three changes would constitute a change shift and could be summarized as a -E -I -A, drag chain or pull chain as a change shift in which the phoneme at the leading edge of the chain changes first. In this example, the change shift would be a pull chain if e change to i first, opening up a space at the position of which then moves to fill. A push chain is a chain shift in which the phoneme at the end of the chain moves first. In this example, if A move toward, creating a crowding effect and causing to move toward, and so forth. Diachronic shifts. A well-known chain shift in the history of English is the great vowel shift of the 15th century, which can be summarized as follows. A, I, I, and O, U, O, A chain shift may affect only one regional dialect of a language, or it may begin in a particular regional dialect and then expand beyond the region in which it originated. A number of recent regional chain shifts have occurred in English. Perhaps the most well known is the northern city's vowel shift, which is largely confined to the inland north region of the United States. Other examples in North America are the California vowel shift, southern vowel shift and the Canadian shift. In England, the Cockney vowel shift among working-class Londoners is familiar from its prominence in plays such as George Bernard. Shaw's Pygmalion. I, 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 why many chain shifts of vowel shifts? Because many sets of vowels are naturally arranged on a multi value scale. However, chain shifts can also occur in consonants. A famous example of such a shift is the well known first Germanic sound shift to Grimm's Law, in which the Proto Indo European voiceless stop consonants became fricatives, the plain voice stops became voiceless, and the breathy voice stops became plain voiced b b p f d d t theta k h x another is the high german consonant shift which separated old high german from other west germanic dialects such as old english old frisian and old saxon d t t s s k k x x p p f f the romance languages to the north and west of central italy are known for a set of chain shifts collectively termed Lenition, which affected stop consonants between vowels p p p b beta v t t t d t h k k k j. In this case, each sound became weaker. Synchronic shifts. It is also possible for change shifts to occur synchronically within the phonology of a language as it exists at a single point in time. N z e b i a Bantu language of Gabon has the following change shift triggered morphophonologically by certain tense aspect suffixes. Examples follow. Another example of a chain from Bedouin Hijazi Arabic involves vowel raising and deletion. In non-final open syllables, a raises to i, while i in the same position is deleted. Synchronic chain shifts may be circular. An example of this is the Amen tone, a Taiwanese tone sandy. The contour tones are lowered to a lower tone, and the lowest tone circles back to the highest tone. Synchronic chain shifts are an example of the theoretical problem of phonological opacity. Although easily accounted for in a derivational rule-based phonology, its analysis in standard parallel optimality theory is problematic. Bibliography. Guthrie, Malcolm. Notes on NZEBI. Journal of African Languages, 7101-129. Kirchner, Robert. Dot. Synchronic Change Shifts in Optimality Theory. Linguistic Inquiry, 27, 341-350.